In this video, I want to take a look at one very specific use case, and that is when using an interface such as a Universal Audio Apollo or any interface that features a low latency monitoring software application or software mixer, such as in this case, console. So we've got a logic procession over here. I've switched over to the Universal Audio Thunderbolt. My IO buffer size is set to 1024. And let's go ahead and monitor, input monitor, enable this track. So, so check, 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 one, two. two. We have a huge delay, delay there, there, like a slap back, back, super annoying. Let's get rid of it. Okay. In Logic, this is very easy. We just switch over to our preferences. We head to the general tab and we can deselect software monitoring. Now, when we do this, if I was to go ahead now and input monitor enable, or more specifically, I think record arm this track, now I'm hearing everything and that's happening through console, which is my low latency software mixer. And it's basically just going to merge the main outs of my DAW with my track that I have record armed. And in this case, like I said, the monitoring is happening, happening from console. Now, if I was to record something in Logic, let's go ahead and record something. Actually, let me stop for a second. Let's take out our auto punch points, make sure our click is not active and let's just drop right into recording over here. So now I'm recording something. I don't hear any latency or not that much latency. Anyways, I'm, I'm monitoring entirely from the console application. We'll go back to logic. We'll zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to push stop over here. Okay. So now if I wanted to do a punch in, it's very easy for me and I'm going to hear everything that's playing back. Plus I will still hear my live mic. So let's try to do a punch in right here and we'll drop out somewhere over there. So I'm going to press play. I'm going to hear my playback that I've recorded plus my live mic input. And let's just drop so check, right check, into one, recording two. over here. I've dropped in now to do a punch in and I'll just try to find a point that makes sense to punch out really anywhere would make sense, but let's wait for this little gap here. Okay. So that's a very nice workflow. It allows us to work very easily, regardless of whether we're on an older system or we're working on a session that has a lot of virtual instruments, we haven't rendered it and the CPU usage is high. All right, let's deselect our record enable track over here and we'll collapse these layers. Let's now move over to Studio One and look at doing the same thing. So in Studio One, we don't have an option to disable software monitoring in the same way that we do in Logic. It's actually kind of hidden in another option. So I'm going to just uh, make sure that we open things up. So we're using the Universal Audio Thunderbolt. My device block size is set to 1024. Okay, so that's okay. And I've remapped my main outs to be using Virtual One Two, and that is quite simply so I can record the DAW output for this video. Now on the inputs, I'm going to make sure that I've selected input one. And in this case, let's bring our fader back to zero. I'm going to click this wrench icon, which is in the top left of the arrange window. It's options. If you scroll down here, you'll notice this uh, under audio, you'll notice monitoring mutes playback tape style. So let's talk about this for a second. Essentially what this is, is auto input monitoring in Studio One. And what this means is that if this is enabled, let's go ahead and enable this quickly. If you have a track and it's record armed, it doesn't even have to be monitor enabled, but if it's record armed, when you're in stop mode on the transport, you will hear your live input. When you're playing back, it's going to play back what's on the track. And when you're recording, you will hear a live input. So if I was to record on this track right now, we're, we're going to hear my input, input coming, coming from, from the, the console, console application. And, and we, we also, also hear it coming through software monitoring. This has a very specific case where it's useful, but when I'm working with something like an Apollo, where I need to do hardware monitoring from a software application mixer, such as console, I always make sure that I disable this option. And then quite simply, it's the same as logic. We just want to record arm this track and now I can engage recording. So let's run recording over here. Actually, let's just mute all the rest of these tracks. So now I'm recording a track in Studio One. I'm hearing myself, I'm monitoring through the software application, which in this case is console. I can push stop. Now, this track that's been recorded, if I press play now, I will hear what is playing back from this track, but because I'm monitoring my direct mic off of console, I'm going to hear both. Let's run so recording check, check, over check, here. check one, two, Actually, let's check, just... check. Now, if I wanted to drop in and do a punch in, I'm gonna hear everything up into the point that I record. Let's run recording over here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna punch in and I'm gonna drop out right over here.
So now I'm recording a track in Studio One. So this is how we disable software monitoring in Studio One. You head to the options, you make sure that monitoring mutes playback tape style is disabled. When this is disabled, all you have to do is record arm your track, and then you're gonna be doing all your monitoring from console. You can record into Studio One. If you need to do any punch-ins, you are going to hear what has previously been recorded, and you will hear your live mic until such time that you actually drop into the record mode, and then you're going to hear whatever it is that you're recording. So I'll catch you for more in the next video.